Thanks, Ray. Why did they go so slow? No, we're trying to just dive that too and be like, one of the most beautiful things I've seen ever. Oh, the I'm taking the pictures in the book. This is Pride Rock. Oh, that's beautiful. Make another stop. It's so the number one reason why you want the high ground is what you can appreciate now when you're up here. I, I realize when you're down below, it doesn't look like much of a hill, but when you get up on top of it, you realize, man, the view is spectacular. It's a great observation point. You can see for miles and anticipate your enemy's next move. If you're lucky enough, you bring the big cannon up here, you've got a commanding field of fire, all that contributes. And that's one of the reasons why both sides wanted this hill. It stayed in Union hands. And many would say the true savior of Little Round Top was General Warren. That's his statue that's kind of off to my left, but you are right. He's the one, you know, Chief of Engineers gets up here, he sees the need to get some guys up here pretty darn quick. Chamberlain's 20th Maine and others were on the corner of the wheat field. They would have fought there that day. They were hustled up here, they got on that southern slope. So that's the 16th mission that's regarding the southwestern corner of the hill. Colonel Welch is there, the guys from Detroit. So again, those men are the principal defenders of the hill. And their efforts have stayed in Union hand. But you can really understand why you want this high ground. Uh, what I'll do, I want to get you back on the bus in about five minutes so we can make another stop yet. But if you want to walk up over the summit, look at those cannons and kind of do a loop. I mean, the buses obviously know where it is. But watch your footing. I mean, the boulders, you don't want to be tripping on the rock. Just to stay on the ground.